Welcome, this is a quick demo from CR Kennedy on setting up motion recording on UniView NVRs. So I'm going to cover why we use motion and where we would use permanent recording and what does or how does the NVR detect that motion. We will also cover how to create schedules and how to have your cake and eat it by setting up a permanent recording schedule and then having motion events on top of it. So with that said, let's get started. Motion is used for event recording, i.e. it's just recording video when the motion is detected. At all over times, the NVR won't be recording anything. So if you have a car driving into a driveway, for instance, it will record that motion event. But all the time when the car's sitting there, there's no motion, therefore it's not recording anything. By setting up the recorder to you do event recording in, in this way, it saves a lot of space on the hard drive. So you can have a lot of cameras all set up with event recording and you'll have you'll be able to go back and review those recordings over over quite a long period of time as opposed to permanent recording what's permanent recording well it's exactly what it says it is it's just recording all the time so you're never going to miss anything the downside of that is is that you won't get as long as storage because it's going to overwrite the oldest footage with the newest footage so you might for instance with a two terabyte drive only get a couple of weeks a couple of three weeks of re recording on permanent depending on the amount of cameras you've got on there as opposed to event recording you might get four to six weeks you know and again depending on the amount of cameras you've got on there depending on the amount of trigger events that you've got how often it's going to be recording so event recording this is when the camera sends a motion trigger to the MVR and then the MVR will start the recording now you can adjust the pre and post recording of the event in setup and we'll cover that in just a moment. Okay, so for this demonstration I'm going to be doing the configuration, my preferred method, which is to be connected to the MVR through, through my laptop. Now the MVR can be on the same network as my laptop or I could use UniView and my cloud to connect to it remotely from anywhere. Now if you don't know the IP address of your MVR you can use a tool such as EZ Tools which is available on the UniView website. So just go to support tool and you'll see EZ Tools here. So with EZ Tools that opened it will instantly scan the network and it will look for all the uh, UniView devices on the network. So you can see here we've got all our cameras. It's even found some LG cameras on there as well. So I want to connect to my MVR. So there's my MVR there. You can, we can see it's a 202 series 8 channel that I'm going to be connecting to. And if I click on the E, it will instantly open up Internet Explorer for me and I can log in straight into the recorder from there. OK, so I'm now logged into the recorder. So first thing I want to do is go to settings. So we're going to be configuring. OK, so now I'm going to go down to camera. And the first thing I'm going to do, there's a few steps in this process. The first thing I do is I'm going to set up the schedule. So here's here's the schedule page. As you can see at the moment, I've got two schedules on here. I've got event recording, motion events, and I've got normal recording, permanent recording. So during working hours, it's going to be doing permanent recording and outside working hours, you can do event recording. Now, if I wanted it to be set up with just motion event recording, I can just click on the motion box drag my box across there and most importantly do remember to click on the save button operation succeeded now when I've done that I've only changed the schedule for this for this particular camera here which is decoder one and, oh, and instantly here you can see my pre and post record so if you want to adjust how much time it how much recording it records before the trigger event you can adjust it here just remember remember to click save so I've just changed the motion event recording for camera number one if I click on another camera you'll see that it hasn't changed there at all so if I want them to have all the same schedules there's an easy way of doing this I can click on copy to all and it will copy this schedule to all the cameras on the recorder click on save and now when I click on my cameras you can see they've all got motion recording set up so that's the first step now if I want to put some permanent recording on there as well as I had before during working hours I can just drag my box across there click on save now again it doesn't matter I'm on D3 I can just do copy to all click on save and it's copied it to to all the necessary channels so that is the first step is to create a schedule ensure that recording schedule is switched on and set your pre and post recording and then copy to all and then click on save okay so the next step is we go to motion I'm going to configure this camera here we can see here you've got red dots showing motion on camera and I've got my grid here now what you might see when you log into a camera you might see something like this so even though we've got the schedule enabled there's going to be no trigger event so the recorder isn't going to be recording or you might even see this 
where motion is switched off on the camera so again it won't be doing any recording so working from top to bottom we want to switch the motion on for the camera now you have to do this on a camera by camera basis you haven't got a copy to all so every camera is going to be looking at a, a different scene so you're probably going to change the parameters accordingly for whether it's an indoor outdoor whether there's trees in there in the picture or whether it's too sensitive or you want it to be more sensitive just remember you have to do this on a per camera basis so if I've got eight cameras on an eight channel Uniview recorder I'll have to do this eight times by selecting the camera ID up here so I'm going to configure channel number six I'm going to switch motion on I want to click on start drawing I'm going to drag my box across like so and straight away I can see my motion box now first remember to click save unless we click save these settings don't apply next thing I want to do once we've done all that is click on trigger actions and again it won't record unless you've got trigger recording switched on now if it detects motion on that camera I can have it record all channels connected to the MVR that's one scenario or I can just have it set to record so camera ID D6 and I'm going to set trigger recording on D6 I'm going to click on save over here you can have it send activate the buzzer which can be mildly irritating if you get a lot of notifications on the re, uh, recorder and your, the recorder will go beep 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 when it detects motion such as that as I said can be mildly irritating so I'll just turn that one off do remember to click on save next thing I do is I'm going to draw my my grid now you can turn individual areas um, off on this grid so I can do it on a box by box basis or I can just drag my box there and deselect so it's a good way of moving trees that might be giving you false triggers you can actually just deactivate them like so once you've made any changes here click on save and now I've got my motion set up so just to quickly recap I've got my motion is on my box is drawn over here I've got my sensitivity and I've got my target size so higher the number the more sensitive it's going to be lower the number the less sensitive it's going to be target size obviously bigger the object uh, before it uh, creates it gets a trigger event is how you adjust that there and finally the duration the duration is how long those first two criteria must be met before it triggers that motion event to the MVR to start recording okay so once I've done that as I said you've got to do it on a camera by camera basis so I'll have to log into my other cameras now and just check those settings so I've got motion on I've drawn my box yes I've got my sensitivity I've got my target size and I've got my duration all set if my trigger actions is I want to record on D8 so I've gone to D5 and straight away I can see here I won't be getting any recording on this because I haven't got a trigger recording selected so if I select D5 click on save okay next thing I need to do is just check for motion again I can see I've got no motion set up here and all these settings are incorrect as well so I'll want to change those so I'll select my draw my grid such as that click on save I'll set my sensitivity up my target size and my duration okay so that covers how to set up motion on your cameras the only thing I haven't covered is I haven't covered third-party cameras or on cameras for that the process is much the same it's just that you've got to enable motion on the third-party camera itself so for instance here if I click on my IP cameras I can see that I've got a number of third-party cameras connected uh, in this case it's a LG LMV 7210 camera a very nice camera indeed if I click on access I, it will open up that camera as long as I'm on the same network so just log into the camera if I click on configuration to set up uh, motion on the camera so for LG cameras I go down to event and motion detect and here it will open up my motion detect on the camera and I can just simply add a box click on save I set my sensitivity there obviously higher the number the more sensitive and that, that's all I need to do with the OnViv protocol it will send the trigger to the MVR just the same as the uh, Uniview cameras it's just that it's a one-way communication as opposed to two-way communication you get when you've got Uniview cameras the MVR can push out configuration to the cameras with the OnViv protocol it's just pushing the trigger to the MVR so when I go back to my motion detection here 
and I can see here's my camera I've got my motion on I've got my trigger actions recording on D2 so it's all set to go and if there was a car coming down there we would see our little orange man appear up there unfortunately we don't have a car at this particular instance so I, I, I can't show you that uh, maybe I'll just pause the video until until we get one ah there we go and you can see the orange man now right at the very beginner I did also say that you can set up um, a permanent recording with motion events on top of that with the Uniview recorders so here for instance we can see the gentleman coming out and walking to his uh, car so I've got permanent record with the motion and the way we did that just uh, quickly is we went into settings went down to camera and we went to our schedule and here you can see that I've got uh, permanent recording on um, but I've also got the event motion events set up and trigger events set up as well so the motions on and trigger actions recording there so it does the best of both worlds I hope that's been really useful for you uh, please leave your comments at the bottom we will be doing some a lot more of these videos on a regular basis CRK professional precision